Okay, so let's uh, do a quick lesson on the perimeter and area of composite figures. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to go over doing the perimeter. The perimeter is the distance around the entire shape. How far is it? Inches, feet, what is it? Okay, in this case we're going with inches. And I'm going to show you what we do to get the perimeter. First thing we're going to look at is, is do we have dimensions all the way around? Well, we are missing one right here. And judging by the looks of this shape, it's going to be the same as this side. So that means that this one is probably going to be four inches as well. So we're going to go with four inches. Okay. Now, as we know, the perimeter is the distance all the way around. So all we need to do is add all of these together. So we're going to start here with the 15. Okay, so we have 15. Then we got 2 inches, 4 inches, 4 inches. That's 10 inches. Plus 5 is 15. Plus 4 is 19. Plus 3 is 22. Plus 3.6 is 25.6. So we'll just add that to the 15. And when we add them together, we end up with 40.6 inches. It's not square inches. It's not square feet. It's just inches because it's only a singular unit, the distance around. That's how many inches all the way around the shape. Okay? Doesn't matter how you add them all up as long as you know that you've got all the same numbers here that add up to 20, to 40.6 inches. So you're just going to, if you have to, you cross them off as you add them together. So you can add the 15, cross it off. Add the 2 to the 15 is 17. Add the 4 to that. Add 4 to that. Cross them off as you go along so you know that you're getting all your numbers. Don't miss numbers. It's easy to do. It's easy to forget where you're at. Okay? Now, that's perimeter. Perimeter is really simple. And it's on a circle, it's actually the circumference. All right? And you know what the, the, it, the formula is for that. It's 2 pi r. Okay? So if you have a circle, it's 2 times pi times r. Okay? Now let's look at how do we find the area, the whole space inside this shape, with the information that we have here? Well, to make it easy, we're going to break it into three different parts. Okay, So we're going to do the area of three different sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an imaginary line across here. And I'm going to do the area of this the area of here, and then I'm going to take an imaginary line and drop it straight down here. Okay, so I have an imaginary line there too. But I don't know this dimension here. I know what this dimension is. It's the same as this. So that's two inches. Okay, we don't want to use this 3.6 because that's the hypotenuse of the triangle, and you're not going to get an accurate um, answer if you use that for the area. Okay. Because the area for a triangle is one half, one half base times height. Okay? That's for here. Well, we don't have the base here, so let's figure out what the base is. We know from here to here is the same as adding this, this, and this together, because those are the same distance. So we would have 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 3 is 12. Well, we know from here to here is 15, so we're going to subtract 12 from 15 and we get 3. Okay? So this measurement here is 3 inches. So now we have the base and the height. Okay? This is where we start out. Do the simple stuff first. We know, we, we know area. For, for any shape, 
that's rectangular is the length times the width, okay? Or width times height. Same thing, okay? As long as you know that you got a width, that's the distance across, okay? So we know this is 12, because that's 3. So we subtracted the 12 from the 15 to get that. So now I could take this, and I got the width is 5, the height is 4. So that is area equals 5 times 4, or 20 inches well, let's write that one out, okay, because we want to do it the right way. 20 inches squared, because we have, again, units times units, which means they're squared units, okay? So that's our answer right there, 20 inches squared for this section right here. Well, let's look at this section now. We know it's 2 inches high, and we know it's 12 inches across. So 2 times 12... Okay, width, height, okay, we got width, height and width, it doesn't matter which order you do it in, and we end up with 24 inches squared, okay, that's our area for that one. Let's do the area on our triangle piece over here. The area on the triangle piece is one half the base times the height. So we take the base times the height, which is going to give us 6, times 1 half, okay? Well, a half of 6 is 3. So our area here is 3 inches squared. Now, we want to know the area of the total composite figure, so we're going to take those numbers and add them together. We have 20 inches squared, 24 inches squared, and 3 inches squared. Okay? So we have all of our measurements. That's all three sections. And if you have to, cross them out as you write them down so you don't forget them, okay? And we add it up, and we got 7, 47 inches squared is our total area. So total area Forty-seven inches squared. Okay? So if you need any help with this, you're getting confused, you have a shape that you just don't know what to do with, you probably want to get in touch with me and we can get on a Zoom and we can go over it. We can look at the equation or the, or the, or the problem or the diagram or whatever it is you're having a problem with and we can go over it and get it resolved. Okay? You can... Always get in touch with me, all right? You can get in touch with me through Quick Schools. You can get in touch with me in Google Classroom. You can also go to Walk Teacher Art Palasek at gmail.com, okay? You can always get me at that email address. So it doesn't matter what you need. All you have to do is give me, get me, get a hold of me. That's all you got to do. It's not difficult. I have given you so many different ways to get a hold of me. You shouldn't have a problem. Okay? You got Quick Schools, Google Classroom, my email. Okay? That's three different ways right off the bat. So keep that in mind. If, you have, if you're still having trouble with finding the area and perimeters on composite, air, on composite figures, let me know. We'll go over it. I'll help you out.
I don't have any problem doing one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to message me, go ahead and do it. Okay? With all that being said, have a great day. Hopefully this is a help for you and you won't have a problem with this. But if you do, get in touch with me. I can't tell you enough times. Get in touch with me.